Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And in this video, we are going to see the use of grids in Canva to create some powerful layouts. So if this is the first video you are watching on our channel, then we have the complete playlist of Canva that you can check out from the description. And without wasting any time, let's get started. Now in this video, we are going to discuss how you can create a side-by-side -side, uh, grid-based layout in Canva so that you can design some articles or the text like you see in newspapers. So uh, let's see that how we can create such layouts in Canva. And it's important to uh, learn about the grids here in Canva because a lot of people think of grid as just you can just drag and drop the image in the background or a shape in the background and that's it. This is what we consider as a grid, but it is much more than that. So first of all, let's select a template. Now what we can do is you can insert a presentation kind of template. There we go. So uh, to insert the grid or divide the page in two sides, I can divide that by going into the elements and then search for grids here. So let's write grids. You have these different layouts right here. You can insert and divide it into two vertically, horizontally in three sides. So these are uh, the different configurations here. So for example, if I want to divide my layout into two, uh, this is the ideal layout for that. Let's say if we click on that, it will be inserted right away. So in this way, it will be divided into two columns. And if it doesn't fit in properly, what we can do is just select and click on this shape, or you can say image kind of thing, and just drag it towards the corner until it snaps like this. You will notice a color change. A uh, uh, border will be much thicker when it snaps the corner. Similarly, in here, when it snaps, you will automatically know. Similarly here, you can identify by yourself. So now it's exactly divided into two pages, except for the spaces in the middle. Now, if I don't want this Divian as a space here, so I'll just come in here, select both of these. Actually, I can select the single one and remove the space in between like this. Choose any of one and then remove the space. Now let's design something on it. So let's say for this grid, I can differentiate that in colors. Let's say for this one, I turned into gray and for this one, I turned into white. Now let's see if I want to insert multiple grids in the same layout, but at the same time, I don't want it to be move from its place. So I need to lock this grids at its position, right? So then I want to select both of these and lock it in their position. Once we select both of them, you won't be able to see the lock option. So instead uh, lock it like this and whatever you select, both will be locked together. Now, for example, if you want an article kind of look like uh, you need an image here and you need three columns to be written in text separated by a little space in here. So what you can do is uh, you can insert multiple grids now. Just insert the single grid. Let's say if I reduce the size and adjust it on here. Now in this case, uh, it totally depends on whether you want it to be snapped to the corner or you want the image to be of a smaller size. Most of the times the image should appear in the middle of the page. So uh, you can adjust it like this. If you feel that you have less space left for uh, your uh, text in here, you can reduce the size even further. Now let's see, uh, now I want the text to be appeared in three columns like an article. So I can insert this three columns like this 
and just reduce the size of it and if you want to snap it uh, for this particular thing you can snap it to the corners as well as you like or you can also match with the image above when you want to match you can match it exactly by the help of automatic rulers that is enabled uh, as it shows when it uh, completely matches with the shape now i'm not gonna fill them exactly with the image or with a particular text i just want to see a separate separation so that when i design my article or newsletter i can identify what areas do i have so let's paint it white now and for all the shapes i can make it different colors but i'll prefer to give white and then next one white next one turn into white so you already can see the image forming up here so you can already see layout forming up here and again since i have used a lot of grids here now you can select and lock it at their position so that it won't move when you are designing further into canva now maybe if you want the copy of that in this portion as well because you will be designing something similar here uh, so just hold the alternate key it is always used to make a copy but since it is locked you need to unlock that first first select that unlock it from here and then hold the alternate key and start moving towards the left and since this is also white you need to change the color to something else and let's say that for this you want the different spacing out here maybe this one uh, is enough or maybe the center of this page from like here now let's insert a heading let's follow what we have as an assignment so this one is our heading you can place it anywhere you want you need to reduce the size you can easily do that uh, by going into corners and adjust according to your requirements and if you want to insert an image here a small one even uh, you can use this as a shape unlock that use a copy of that and just reduce the size so that you can insert a smaller image here change the color so that you can identify what's in there so for example uh, if this is my heading of the image or even let's just reduce that let's say this one right here let's reduce that one and let's put it this way now let's see if i want some article related to forest here uh, you can go to photos and write forest here and let's see if i want to talk about the greenery so let's just hold and drag it right here you can just hold that and put it in this image just drag and drop and it will automatically fit in the positions so whatever suits you according to your article you can switch that quickly now let's say that if you want it to appear in this particular column in the center of uh, this you can adjust it according to its size like this you can also increase the size to make it convenient for you to identify the positions in here like that and you can move around to see the alignments and let's say if i move it to the top and let's insert some more text here for example i insert a sub heading here and if you want to reduce that in size you can do that as well and you can write anything you want related to your article so what we are uh, going to do is we are just going to fill our template whatever we have designed and we are uh, seeing some different possibilities on how you can make your designs better now again if you want uh, an image here you can put uh, the image of let's say the parks let's say and let's say this one or this one okay now let's see how we can do the text insertion here for example you want it to be appeared in different columns 
for the text like an article or news uh, paper so what we can do is you can just simply uh, go to text and put a body here and just adjust according to the size of this area and this is the body you can reduce the size like this and you can write anything here so something like this so this is uh, my text area let's say and now if I want it to be written in three different columns I can make copy of it make a copy of it and write whatever you want to write here if you want uh, to insert just some random text here you can uh, google that you can write lorem ipsum text and you can copy some of the random text here you can find it in paragraphs and whatever so you can simply put it here where you want as just an example of the template now to give it a proper look uh, let me just copy this text of lorem ipsum it's way more than I need so let's just get rid of some of the text here so let's reduce this and if you want to align it somewhere you want you can just align it to justified or any sequence you want justified doesn't look good let's try different layouts here and you can fill this text box around the corner so that it will look nice and fill the area properly like this and you can fill some more text in here now this one is just an example so that you can get the idea of how the text will look like and then after that you can just simply make copies of it like I showed you here so it will have a look like this and afterwards uh, you can let's see if we can change the text styles of all of the boxes together yes we can so let's try different text styles here and see what suits you according to the overall look of the article so let's say this seems nice now these grid lines when you are finished with designing it's just a guide for you after that if you want to get rid of any of these gray colors let's unlock that first select this uh, area and uh, remove the transparency and boom you can get rid of that easily and you have the simple design like that so it's just to give you the perfect outlook of what the alignments should look like when you're designing something here so it still have some things to achieve that design that i showed you as an example but uh, you get the idea of how you can uh, design and play around with the functions that we have learned and uh, you make the most of the grids and makes the excellent use of the grids and adjust your designs accordingly so if i try to quickly build a kind of a shape that we have uh, seen in our designs let me just quickly get to some sort of design in here So although it doesn't exactly matches our design obviously you need to spend some more time on it I just quickly showed you through all the tools that we can use but you can design it same as shown in the example by using all the tools that we have discussed here so that's it I hope you like the video and if you did hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified of all the future videos 
This is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.